The metaverse, in, in my interpretation, is an art project. Um, it is basically a blank canvas of creativity as an artist. So I feel very fortunate to be alive at this period of time. Because really, what I, what I think is the greatest opportunity is to make intersections between art, technology and science mm -hmm. in the space. I was asking myself, what would it take to trigger a similar kind of feedback loop in the case of 3D computer graphics? And the answer I came up with, rightly or wrongly, was the metaverse. Um, you know, something that would be uh, a mass medium, that would be uh, uh, appealing and, and popular to a large, uh, sort of large general mass market. Every once in a while, a technology comes along that's truly revolutionary and it changes everything. It has, and so will the industrial metaverse. All, all the companies that are investing um, so much time and effort and blood and sweat and toil into building these AR and VR technologies, um, I think the danger is if left to their own devices, uh, they will build a version of the metaverse which works for them, but is not necessarily going to work for users who want to move from one one platform to another. There is not a single discipline that doesn't connect to the properties of what the metaverse is trying to become. A well-designed uh, open standard um, is just defining interoperability. It doesn't get, it doesn't stray off that narrow path and try to dictate how people implement the, um, the elements communicating through that interoperable standard. So a well-designed standard will actually encourage innovation because you know, even smaller companies, larger companies, they can all reach out through into the ecosystem easily and innovate. Every technology goes through its hype curve, right? This, this wonderful promise of what it all is going to bring. And then sudden realization, actually it might take some years to get there. And if you go back to even the internet, right? And you, everyone probably lived through the 99 crash. That's basically what happened. There's a bunch of things that happened in 99 or 98 that everyone said oh look we can ship pet food around and then it all crashed right and then now what happens you know admittedly 20 years later you ship pet food around right and and this is the same curve with the metaverse right and here's the challenge is there a way that we can actually come up with uh, governance now for this new world that's emerging and learn some lessons from the past is there a way to create a system of governance and that provides trust and truth and that protects investors, that protects consumers, that protects employees and workers, that protects children, that protects citizens, while also allowing innovation and the amazing opportunities. Luxury brands are not ready for the collaborative, co-creative nature, I think, in which consumers want to engage with the brands that they support. So brands have to start opening up a little bit this process of creation in a way that is still brand safe, right? So you have to figure out as a brand, what are the guardrails around what you are allowing your consumer to do so they feel included, but at the same time, what is your aesthetic, your brand DNA, right? Your sense of taste that you're still preserving.